Ho, ho, ho. Welcome back, everybody, for our weekly time together. It is uh, the, what is it? It is February 7th, 2023. And yes, we were supposed to have Brian Michael Bendis on. And no, he's not here tonight. But he will be back on the 28th. And I'm just waiting for all the numbers of the live viewers to drop. But no, stay on, stay on, because we we have a pretty good show. Oh, hey, Christian, how are you? See, Christian's happy to see me, and I'm happy to see you, Christian. I'm happy to see all of you here each week. Uh, This week, we have a very special show, um, because we're going to be asking Mike Pasolo to prove that he knows what he's doing as a screenwriter. Mike, are you ready to prove that you can do what you claim to do? I am ready to try to prove it. Well, look at this. Mike Ponce says he's still with us and all the way from Canada, Vince. (laughs) You know, tonight, Mike, is the State of the Union address. Uh, No matter what side of the aisle you vote on, Mike, at the end of the State of the Union address, and Vince may or may not be aware of this, but there's always some people who are like, that's it, I'm moving to Canada, (laughs) right? Exactly. Right? I mean, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. Someone's like, go oh, moving to Canada. I wonder how the Canadians feel about that. Like, we're your last result. Like, we're going to show you by moving to Canada. Can- I wonder Canada's like, don't bother. Yeah, well, they're very friendly up there. So they may be like, yes, come. Come. Enjoy. There they are. Facebook user says, hi, buddy and Mike. So, hi, buddy. Hello, anonymous hi, Facebook, Facebook user. user. So we were supposed to have, oh, thank you very much. That is my uh, my uh, drink bringer. She didn't bring me, I guess there's a shortage on water. She brought me that much. Um, so Mike, I'm going to quote Tina Fey, famous for so many things, but also for being a Saturday night alum. We were not ready tonight for this show, Mike, but we pulled no, it we together. And I'm going to quote Tina Fey, quoting Lauren Michael. And the quote says, the show doesn't go on because it's ready it goes on because it's 1130. So the show here does not go on because we're ready, Mike. It goes on because it's 8 p.m. on a Tuesday. And we hope, we hope that people are happy that they stuck around. Never happens. No, you're right. People don't actually leave Twitter. They don't leave the country. They're just like, I'm going to leave. Because it's a lot of work to actually go through it. Saying it is easy. Doing it is hard. (laughs) It's easy. It's easier to wave your fist and be like, I'm angry at this president. (laughs) <laughs> no matter what size you're on. So it, the state of the comic book school address, I, I'm i not prepared for that. But Ari, that actually sounds like a really good idea. And I'm glad that you volunteered to help write that. You start planning it for next year. You going to start planning it for next year. And here's Glenn. It's expensive to move to Canada, at least the worthwhile part. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, you wouldn't want to move to Alberta at this time of the year. This is a pretty cold time, Mike. Chilly. Chilly, chilly, chilly. But Mike, you know, we do have actually a real show. Uh, well, yes, we uh, pulled it together. Or you so you pulled it together. I pulled it together. But uh, Mike, we're going to be talking about something that's important. And I'll tell people why it's important. I don't know why I make hand gestures when I'm not on the screen. But Mike, <laughs> let's, uh, let's change the layout here. Can we change the layout? Can we change the layout? No, that's not it. That's not it. The other button. The other button? There you go. That, that didn't now, work. Now the other one. Now the other one? One next to it. Spotlight layout. All right. Anyway, I need a I need a better engineer. My engineering skills are terrible. Um, but oh, my head is too big. So, Mike, we're going to be talking about scripting, uh, comics, and Alberta is 48 below centigrade. That's that's cold. really cold. That's yeah. cold. Yeah. yeah. It was only worthwhile when the dinosaurs were around and it was it was a, it was a tropic dinosaurs. Yeah, saber tooth tigers tended to be pretty rough on the on the, <laughs> the peeps. So, Mike, uh, tonight we are going to be sharing uh, some uh, really interesting and useful detail that uh, creators can get vamp for me a second, Mike. Share screen. I'm going to share a window, PowerPoint oh, share. You got to move that. There you go. You got to move that that camera from the center of your screen so you can. I know. Zoom in. Alberta dinosaur started Petrocan. Petrocan? Petrocon, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Petro Canada. So, Mike, uh, tonight we decided to do something that was part of your background. You were the producer and also helped do some writing. Uh, what are we looking at here? 
This is a script that a friend of mine wrote and asked me to help him out on. And we decided that we were going to shoot it as a short, which we did. As a short. Okay. Yes. So first things first, um, I just want to give some context to the creators who are here. We're thinking, oh, I don't make films. I make comics. But... Um, there are many comic book creators who have made short films, most notably recently, Joe Quesada, former the whatever everything of Marvel yeah. Comics, like how do you give the guy a title, um, is making waves. It looks like he has made a short film called Fly uh, that's getting rave reviews. You can see from those little uh, crusty things, right? Mm -hmm. What do you call the garlands? or uh, uh, Garlands or, um, or things. The, or it's a word, right? The didn't crown the, thingies, the, the, something. So anyway, he did. He did um, uh, fly. I, I don't think it's out available to watch. Um, Billy Tucci, a couple of years ago, had done a, a longer um, but still short film. Uh, it was a comedy, and it was called "Some Trouble of a." Oh, hold on, there you go. So Vince tried to throw wreaths, and then Ari, Ari was like, "Here." Ari Thesaurus Rubin, um, just whew, he was like, "You failed class." So <laughs> we just failed. You deserve class. to have done a movie. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Tucci did a very funny uh, short film, showed another side of his creativity, and uh, yeah, it's true. Ari went. Ari usually wins in trivia related to words. <laughs> if it's a word trivia, Ari's on it. Okay. Um, also, I, I wanted to note. Um, back in, back when we were in the wizard days, Mike, do you remember Malibu Comics? I do. Malibu Comics. Uh, a little bit of trivia there for you. Not a lot of people know that Malibu Comics was the first publisher <laughs> for Image Comics. So they did not immediately form Image. They formed Image as a company, but they worked through Malibu to get their publication. And oh, look at that. Ari wins in laurels. Uh, look at that. See that? Vince recovered. <laughs> now Vince so, wins. Yeah, so they did a short film based on the comic book Firearm. Do you remember Firearm, the comic book? I do not remember that, but that guy looks like Mel Gibson. He sort does. Of. I don't think it was a coincidence. I think uh, they got the appropriate Mel scowl, and uh, it was... Oh, look at that. Jared's here. You know, Jared is dialing in from Australia or New Zealand or Australia Zealand or something. He's no, he's from Australia. One of those down under. I want, that was a really good accent, Mike. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. That's you the only voice. thing I can do with a good accent. Like you that. do voice, you do voice <laughs> acting. So I wonder if anybody after the state of the union ever says, Oh, I'm going to Australia or do they just figure they'll take a quick drive to Canada? I, I, I have been thinking about Australia. It's very nice. I hear. I it, it is on the bucket list of places to go for sure. I don't I, know if uh, they'd want us though. Well, why wouldn't they want us? Because we're you know, nobody likes the Americans anymore. We will live cast specifically from Australia. <laughs> We'd both Malibu. have to get the accents, then it would be great. Malibu is the first comic publisher I ever submitted my penciling to. Who is that? You know what it is? You can't actually see who the Facebook person is. Who is the Facebook user? And there you go. Yes, Australia. Good day, mates. And Jared has that awesome accent. He's doing a comic book for Beeline Books, which is Comic Book School's own line, which we've talked about, and that will uh, be coming out this year. So you'll you'll hear more about Jared. Um, but yeah, I want to know. Hold on. Australia has more things that can kill you than That's what? True. Then everything what? Out there is, everything out there is poisonous. <laughs> then what? Okay, so they did a uh, firearm comic book. Um, Cully Hamner drew it. I forget who wrote it. It was early Cully Hamner work. And then they did this short film. And I, I guess it was to gain the interest of Hollywood. Uh, interesting to note that Ross Ritchie was one of the producers of the film. And Ross Ritchie then went on to found uh, Boom Entertainment, the well-established comic book publisher that sells so many properties to Hollywood. It's incredible. Did a great job. So it is worth trying to hunt down. I used to have a copy on VHS. I don't anymore. And then did you know that, Mike, uh, Thomas Jean, the the guy that actually did play. Can't wait to get Pretty started sure. on the line. Oh, yeah. You're already started. You're done. 
he's already done. He says like getting started, like, but the book is actually done. We just have to get started on promoting, promoting it. Did you know that the actual actor, Thomas Jane did a Punisher short film called Dirty oh, Laundry? No, I did not know that. Yeah. He, um, at some point in between the first Punisher movie and then the, uh, Netflix show, he made a short film and it's on YouTube. Oh, I'll have to go look at that. Yeah. Uh, so short films are a good way to start out. I got one more here. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this, Mike. Have you ever seen PG Porn? <laughs> I have not, but now that I see it, I might want to tune in. Yes. And I will tell you. Oh, okay. Hold on. It's uh, Anthony Pierce. Oh, Anthony Pierce. I know him from the Wizard Days and uh, a terribly nice guy. Um, lives out in California, uh, making comics and doing all kinds of cool stuff. I've seen all those movies. It's the book leg universe. Oh, I knew there was more than one. We in Australia have things that can poison you, but you guys have things that rip your limbs off. Hmm. I didn't yeah. know that. Do we? Yes. Hmm. I, I didn't, so. I didn't know that. Well, they did know. Power Rangers and Venom. Who did? Uh, PG porn, PG porn. Let's see. Oh, uh, look at this. Anthony Pierce likes PG porn. It's, they're hysterical. They actually are very, very funny. And I will tell you. Uh, oh, it's a bootleg universe. So he was. Glenn was so excited. He was like the boot universe. <laughs> the the five hundred words a minute. He's like, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Mike. Um, the the point that we're trying to make in our own inarticulate way is that short films are a, a great way uh, to exercise a different part of your brain. You and I work together on quite a few short film and uh, shorts projects. Am I right? Yes, we did. We should we should get them up on YouTube one day. We will never get them up on YouTube. <laughs> They did not age well. There is a that's, that's okay though. That's all right. We should that is you know, we not should okay. Do? We should reboot them. We should re what we we'd have to edit half of it out because we'd be. I, I'm afraid of like what gets canceled these days. Like people get they're gonna cancel Santa. We could, yeah. but you and I could reshoot them with with whole new scripts and new actors. <laughs> and they wouldn't be our short films that we made. <laughs> anyway, Mike and I did work our new short films. films. We did. We worked on short films uh, at Wizard. There were other people who worked on short films at Wizard as well. Uh, I particularly love short films because I have a short attention span. Do you know how I go to the library, Mike? I shop by the width of the spine. <laughs> if it looks too wide, no, no, no. yes, yes. <laughs> And then I, I asked the librarian, I'm like, what's short? She's like, beside you? I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> you are a librarian. That is so right. That's so true. <laughs> so, Mike, but today I think what we really wanted to do was get into uh, the scripting and the formatting of the script specifically for uh, creating a short film, why you do certain things, and uh, some of the parallels to comic book scripting. How does that sound to you? Sounds like a plan. And you um, have a redux. Is that the right word? A redux? Uh, yeah, your, yeah, like a retcon, maybe. A retcon, retcon on one of your earlier trivias. So my, my first, my very first trivia. Although I still don't think it should be trivia, but we'll, we'll keep. Wait, it. what happened to my? What happened to the? Where's your thing? Do the do the thing. I think I lost all the. I think I lost all the slides. <laughs> All right, stand by, Mike. I, uh, uh, do some vamping. Try and figure it yeah, out. Yeah, do some vamping. I lost all my slides. <laughs> tap dancing. Can you? Uh, can yeah? Can you tap dance or type or or just tell them what it's like to be in Hollywood, Mike? Yeah, well, right now it's uh, it's quite warm. It's been uh, very nice out here lately. Very nice. Nice how? Nice is in uh, warm. Well, warm. It's cold for California, but it's nice uh, generally for the rest of the country. Because I hear back east, it was like eight degrees. And it's pretty uh, brutal. Yeah. So here our cold was maybe 60, but you know, that's, that's California cold. All right. So I am right now, I, I was able to, uh, what do you call it? Do the, the back, <laughs> back, 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 and go back, 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 backspace. And backspace, the little undo button in windows is magical. 
Um, let's see, what are people saying? If you reshoot your short films, your original become your proof of concept. Yeah, that's true. Is that right? Yeah. What does that mean? Is that like an ash can? Yeah, it's just, no, it's just like uh, your originals. The, the thing you shot first is now your proof of concept that you can actually do it better the next time. <clears throat> it's like if we wanted the, this this short film that we did, if we wanted to do a longer version of it, like a feature length film, this short film would be our proof of concept. What we can do with however much money and however much time. And now we can show you what we can do. So you go, oh, you can do that with two days. We'll give you $12 million in three months. Really? Yeah. Proof of concept. I, I think, think that... I it's think okay. um, actually Anthony work a Anthony uh, Pierce, who just is, a, is as Facebook user, uh, I'm pretty sure he works in Hollywood land as well, which is probably why he knows that. All right. So I had to undo, undo, undo. Um, <laughs> I'm going to first show you the full page. Mike, what are we exactly looking at here? This is just the, the title page, cover page. Mandela versions. What are the Mandela versions? What's that Mandela, mean? Mandela, you know, the Mandela effect where you think, Something happened, but it didn't. Like uh, the Berenstain Bears or the Berenstain Bears. Oh, there's a word the, for that. Yeah, the Mandela effect. It's like what what the the whole kind of collective unconscious of everybody thinks happened, but really didn't. Like the Monopoly guy, everybody thinks he has a monocle. He doesn't have a monocle. Really? Yeah, and everybody gets the uh, Luke, I am your father. Yes. Wrong. Yeah. Right. It's not. Didn't actually. Everybody say that. thinks it's something, but it's really something else. My IMDb is fat with short <laughs> films. A lot of them became features. Like fat. Well, that's good. A lot of them became, that's awesome. Maybe we'll talk to Anthony in a future you episode. talk to Anthony. He actually seems like he's doing something. He does seem like he's doing something. Not not for anything. Not, but like, not like us. Not like, well, no, well, you're doing, okay. So what, is, what exactly are we looking at? This is just the, the, the title page telling you what the, the idea is, who it's written by. And, um, you know, what's, the, what's important about the format and the layout of this page, Mike? Uh, this tells you everything you need to know about the writer and or the producer. Or Now, I've blurred know, out the contact. Would you? What would you put on there? Your email, your phone number? What, what um, you if you don't have a manager or an agent, yes, you put your uh, phone number, email, address, and all that. If you have a manager or an agent, you put their contact on there. You have a – what do you have? I have a manager. Manager. Yes. And you put that person's name put on his, it. his name and contact stuff on there. All right. So this is called Party so Time it written it by Adam. More important than I am. Does it make it seem more important than you really are? Yes. Are people you're right. that? You got a you got a manager. You're not just some schlub off the street putting your putting your thing out there. I like that. Putting your thing out there can get you arrested. <laughs> All right. So let's uh let's see. So I'm gonna do the first is zoom out, Mike. <laughs> we'll zoom in. But from what I understand, the formatting, and then we'll do the zoom in so you can see the actual words, the formatting of a film script is something that's very important. Can you explain that? Um, well, this is, I mean, it's its the basic format of all the scripts. And it's, you know, this was done in Final Draft. They have a ton of other um, screenwriting programs that you can get, and they all just format it for you. It's just a basic format that's Everybody knows how to read, and they've been reading it for decades. Now, what I remember hearing, and this just could be me remembering it incorrectly, that you use the same font, the same font size, and then you can sometimes gauge the length of the movie by the page count? Yes. Usually, you know, the Hollywood, um, I guess, page count thing is one minute per page. So okay. this, and it actually came out to be that. I think this was uh, 18 or 19 pages and it's about 18 minutes. All right. So, uh, and we will uh, let you know where you can see the final uh, short film if, uh, if you are so inclined. Uh, so Mike, again, this formatting is not um, haphazard. Like this is formatted. No, this, well, this like is, that. this was our shooting script. So if you were just writing a regular script for somebody else to read, you wouldn't have the inserts in the scene one F and the ah. band, stuff like that. That's just for us because like the, the wall clock shot that we had and the um, streamers and the signs, they were all things we shot separately 
and they're just going to be inserted into this. So they oh. weren't shot right there on the day. What? So wait. So tell me what insert A and insert B are. Uh, insert A is just a like your your. You see the wall clock, but that isn't done on the day of the shoot. That's just an insert later on. We took a couple pictures of that, and then we decide which one we want to put in. So it's not you're not filming it all in that same uh, sequence that you're filming the rest of the script. And then what is insert B? Insert B is just another insert shot of the party time or the uh, the party atmosphere and the food on the table. They're all just different different things that you can put in there. Oh, so, so I'm get, I'm following. So the shooting script also has that scene two P R. What does that mean? Uh, I forget what we had, but it was uh, it was scene two. Um, it would have been something like we we used something like it was supposed to be PR. I don't remember what, it was, but it was something like living room. So that was just it's going to be the second scene in the living room, maybe front room, priority front room. room, something or other. I don't remember what it was. We okay. did this two years ago, three years ago. All right. So you wrote a script, and then this becomes a shooting script. Yeah. And then this is the guide to how – but but is it still in order? Is it still in story order? Uh, this is – yes, this is in story order, although we didn't shoot it exactly in this um, order. And then it, this goes to – this went to our, our editor, so he, we knew exactly who, who our editor was, Russ, to uh, – um, where he knew where to put things and how to put things and what scenes went where. So for those of you who don't know who Russ is, that is... Uh, <laughs> Russ. Everybody knows Russ. <laughs> yeah. So Russ Wooten worked with uh, Mike and me at Wizard. Uh, we worked all together on the Wizard Online, and Russ was um, the uh, the person who gave the visual graphic design oomph to the the entire online presence right mike i mean yeah. he was he was kind of he's kind of a genius and he then went on to continue in comics as a letterer yep. uh lettered uh i guess the majority of walking dead and just about everything that robert kirkman works on right yeah yep he does uh invincible and he does the marvel stuff i think i think he's done some dc stuff he's done, yeah he does everything so he was the guy who he uh, wrote this uh, no, no. Russ, Russ directed it and edited it edited it edited it, edited it. i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put it right here in the chat mike this way people can uh link to the movie don't go yet everybody just so you know that there's a link to the movie okay so mike come on back we're we're here and you are Okay, so you're on page one. Let's jump to page two. Um, talk to me about the importance of the dialogue and then that how that drives how Russ visualizes and then uh, films it. Uh, well, we have to have, you know, the way it's shot, we had two cameras going. We it was just shot on two iPhones. So we had to have, you know, a certain setup. So it was over, you know, the over-the-shoulder shots, as they say in the biz. Um, just so we can get the different reactions from the different people who we're seeing. So Russ has to know what the the you know what room we're in, has to know who's talking, and has to know what's even in the background of them in case it's gonna mess up, you know, the shot. All right. So oops, wrong thing. Um, so let's say you're filming this. How much does the dialogue change during the day of shooting? Um it's not much. Uh, there are some actors who are like, oh, can I do some improv here? And we were like, yeah, sure. You can do what you want. But generally we follow the script. If they had a few flubs or if they had a few improvised lines and that we thought it was great, um, we let it stay in. But generally they follow the script and, um, you know, we shot it each scene. We probably shot at least two times just to make sure we got all the, the dialogue in the, the scenes that we needed. And you had a very famous actor join you, uh, had, right? Yes, Ahmed Best. We had him as one of our uh, time travelers. Let me let me show uh, a quick uh, frame from this. Uh, I'm going to share, uh, just uh, stop, and then I have to present and share screen. 
and then I have to go to a Chrome tab, and then I have to look around. You gotta get up. macros for this. I do, I do. Poisonous ones from Australia. <laughs> that is, uh, that's a frame. Who? Tell them who Ahmed Best is. That is Ahmed Best. He was the voice of Jar Jar Binks. In all like, the how did you get Jar Jar Binks to? to I know that? Ahmed. I've worked with him on on many things. And really? Yeah. Yeah, we were like, hey, I'm in. You want to do this? And he was like, sure, I'll come out for uh, for a day and, and shoot this with you guys. He looked very tall. Was he like six he, foot 13? He's very tall, yeah. He's over six feet, yeah. Yeah, he, when well, I saw he him is, walk into the frame, he literally ducks into yeah, the... Yeah, he is a super nice guy and was, you know, so kind just to help us out. And we were like, we need people to do this. And we needed people who can actually act. And we... Does we he had, act? Is he good? Yeah, he's very good. Yeah. Right. He's a, he's an actor. He's a director. He's, he's a writer. A voice guy, right? What? He's a voice guy. He's done many, many voices. Yep. For Robot Chicken, right? He has done voices for Robot Chicken. He's been, you know, in commercials. He does a lot of stuff. He does the, he's been directing a lot of plays out here lately. All right. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Totally <laughs> messed up the slides. <laughs> like, conflict of character. Yeah, that's a, that is me when I backed out the slides. I lost all of the other slides. So here's what we're going to do, Mike. Um, so real quick, uh, thanks everybody for joining us tonight on this special episode where we quickly pulled together a show just for you, but, uh, we're not just here to talk about how to script for a short film for YouTube. Um, Mike has a return to, what was it? Uh, two weeks ago. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to pull up the right. I think slide. it was two weeks. Yeah. That, it yeah, was the first, yeah, it was maybe three weeks. I don't know. It's one of those. It was the Two first one. Let me pull it up because I think I can do that without messing anything up. Are you sure? I'm not sure. No. <laughs> I think. This is not my greatest, not my greatest ever engineering. Okay, here we go. So, Mike, here we, oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Uh-oh. I wish oh, people boy. would talk amongst themselves when I can't get the, the thing to work. Well, you should have all this late. What about your button thing? Didn't you? Didn't you have? Yeah, it? I never got it to work. I... Oh well, that's good. All right. So, Mike, during your trivia time, mm -hmm. you talked about. Did you want to pronounce this? The Orpheo cordyceps unilateralis. You know, unilateralis. You know, whatever it is. It's the, the fungus the, that. Same pronunciation of Vince's uh, last name, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> roughly. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if, and and here we are jumping in. And Vince gave us some mutter mutter. <laughs> All right. So why are you bringing this back up, Mike? What I'm is bringing this back up because I, when I, you told me, you asked me to, to find some trivia for the writers and stuff. And I was like, this is really cool. Cause I'd heard about this fungus before that takes over ants and makes them into kind of zombies. And I'm like, that's a great idea. Little did I know that in the uh, TV show and the video game, which I've never played, or hadn't hadn't even seen up to this point that this is exactly what they're using for the last of us. Ooh. How they make their zombies. The fungus, you know, this this exact fungus, you know, takes over people. It's it's adapted, it is uh evolved, and now it can survive in human hosts and take them over to make them zombies and to pass it along. So wow. So they they stole my idea before I even had it. <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> uh, it's a good show. Have you been watching it? I've only watched the two episodes, but yeah, so far it's great. And I, I definitely want to play the video game too. I haven't gotten that either. Uh, it, my daughter played the video game. We had we. I started watching Last of Us. Janet and I, uh, who's uh, sitting right over there, we're watching yeah. Ted Lasso. So don't ruin it for us. We're we're still in the first season. First season, it's fantastic. I can't wait. Anyway, Mike, that um, is probably uh, all we have for people today. There's not, there's not much of a show at all. But I think no. you know what we proved that if you come here, we will always have something for you to watch. And uh, next week we will be back with an actual planned, prepared show. And then uh, Feb February twenty eighth, Brian Michael Bendis will absolutely indeed return so thank you mike for joining me tonight and thanks everybody for coming out and joining us making our tuesday special your comments keep us alive and young and all those other wonderful things keep making comics
Ah!